Hello everyone. Today I'm here with Isabel Gordon from In the Right Hands and Isabel's just completed my transformational tarot six-week coaching program with me and she's kindly offered to share her experience of her journey and how using tarot with the coaching has worked for her. So hi Isabel, it's great to have you here. How are you doing? Hi. I'm all right, thanks. Hi, it's <laughs> lovely to see you again. And you. I mean, we've been friends and done lots of different kind of transformation work together over the years. And um, you've done some for me, I've done some for you. So I'm really curious to hear what your experience of doing um, the coaching with the tarot was in this like, six week container. But before we sort of get started on that, would you like to just share a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, so yes, yeah, so my company is called In the Right Hands. So I am a trauma sensitive therapist and healer, and um, I'm absolutely passionate about helping people to change the emotional patterns in their lives. So that takes over really my whole life because I'm always looking at what people are doing and what they're saying. That's me. I'm married. I have a twenty year old son. Um, we have lots of fun together as a family. And um, yeah, I live in Northwest London. That's me. Um, the, I guess the first question is, what was it that made you want to do the programme with me? What was it that you were hoping to achieve? What was it that piqued your interest? Uh, what, what were you hoping that it would give you? There were a few things. It all came at the right time, I think. So I was going through a couple of couple of things were happening in in my life and business where I was kind of feeling very stuck and you happen I just happened to come across your email that said oh, I'm doing this this program which sounded interesting so I've had coaching with you before and I just thought it would be interesting to see what would happen with cards as well um, and I didn't know that you read tarot cards before then Good. So what, what was it that you experienced with the tarot and coaching specifically this time? How, what, um, what were you expecting or what was there anything surprising about it? To be honest, I didn't know what to expect, but um, I do love working with you. So that was a great uh, excuse to come and see you for, uh, for six weeks. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that, that pulled me certainly, and I do love working with you and expectation wise, I didn't know, but I imagined that because you're so intuitive that you would give the cards your own, um, intuition on it as well, which you did. And I think the two together was, was really great to, to focus because you asked me a question each time we had to ask the cards a question. So it was really good to just chat around and go, right, okay, this is what we've got to ask. So it felt very focused, which which is good. That's fabulous. Um, how did you experience it? You know, like, cause I, I would, I put the spread on the table and I would, <laughs> I know it's a bit makeshift cause this is the first time I've done it when I'm holding the cards up and explaining them and so that you can see the cards as well and feel into them and tune into like the colors, the symbolism. What was it like actually um, using that visual tool? Yeah, it was really good. So when you were holding them up and describing them, there were things on there that I wouldn't necessarily notice. So, um, so yeah, from that point of view, I think it was really good. And you explained whether there was a past, the future, the present or whatever the, uh, the other wherever they were placed and so what they meant in relation to each other um so it was a whole little story which which um for me sticks in my mind and just being shown various bits on the card was was good really good I remember you telling me that in the week in between the sessions that the cards would stick in your head and the story of the cards yeah how how did that affect you and like the, you know just on the, that day to day level? Um, I'd say so. Th throughout the whole six weeks, there were various sort of themes were coming out, and in that when we had that gap, I think one of the things that had come out was that I was 
um, finishing a lot of cycles and just kind of waiting for the next ones to start. And I could almost, I, every time someone was maybe trying to push through, I'd be thinking that you're okay, you just need to let this unfold, don't need to push, you know, just just wait and, and you know your intuition's okay, trust came into it a lot. And it gave you permission then to just <clears throat> pause and then feel into what, what felt right for you. Yeah, and, and to trust trust me, trust my intuition, trust my just just trust what there, there was um I think there was there were two cards as well that kept coming up, which was trust your intuition, your intuition's really truthful, it's good. But then there was also trust my judgment and more of a mind thing, and it was okay, it was again permission to use the two. Mm -hmm. together which I haven't done in the past terribly well I've always judged that I need to be one or the other and uh, you know it's intuition it might be a bit flaky <laughs> but, but I know that's not true <laughs> okay cool did you find that um like using having that sort of mirror helped you make decisions faster or m move through issues in your life more quickly yeah so the things that were going on at the time, it was great to be able to just like do one one action because we spoke about that through the cards and through the coaching and spoke about, okay, so this has come up. How can we, how can I do that next bit to move this situation on and to move it on in a, in a positive way? Mm. And... Um, and that was really helpful to, again, just do bite-sized pieces, not go, well, I've got to get this all done now. But actually, it needs to be done in steps so that it, it's there's no fallout, if you like. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. So what did you most value from, from doing this programme? Goodness. Um, I loved... I love the weekly contact. I know we had a, a week's break, but fundamentally it was a week each time, which for me meant that it moved it moved quickly. Um, so from having a, okay, I'm stuck with this and this, having the, the talks each, each time and what the cards said for the confirmation, moving through each week and going, yeah, okay, now I've done all this, so now I can move to the next bit and speaking with you so just having a reflection of you reflected back to me what I needed to hear really and and made it much clearer for me to go oh yeah that's it I think that's that's the main thing was was getting out of my own way and just it was really useful to have you bounce ideas to bounce ideas off or you know do you think this would work do you think that would work um and having a tiny a, a really small step of an action for each week so it didn't have to be huge how did it leave you feeling at the end of it um i felt very much more confident that what where i'd been making myself wrong uh, that I didn't need to be, that actually what I was doing for me was right. And so this, it was, yeah, it was a, it really was like a confidence exercise for me. Um, suddenly being, being told by, not told by you, but yeah, told by you, by the cards, the confirmation in the cards. I can trust what, what I want to do. I'm okay, I'm right, and I don't have to keep following other people's um, expectations, if you like, or doing things in a way that doesn't suit me, but I'm doing it for someone else's needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought it was amazing watching you change so quickly. I, once, you, once you'd kind of just got these thoughts out of your head that were conflicting, like that were stopping yeah. you because they were logical and reasonable thoughts 
but they just stopped you from following your heart or going for what you needed and yeah you flew it was incredible to watch it was lovely so I'm so grateful that you uh chose to do this with me for my sort of beta program um so thank you also for coming today and just sharing your thoughts and feelings about it and um yeah is, is there anything any last words that you'd like to share to let other people know about this would you recommend it to other people yeah. and if so why would you recommend it yeah i i would absolutely recommend it um everything that you just said just then you know the, the speed the clarity the getting out of my own way and and i think other people can see a change in someone much quicker than you can in yourself but i was able to see that pretty quickly as well so I would really recommend if you are stuck and you just want to move forward and and in in a gentle way it's it they, it was very deep stuff we went very deeply but the cards kind of lightened it almost so we had a lot of laughs as well mm -hmm. even though it was very deep stuff that we were looking at and moving through um so I, I would really recommend doing doing that it's course, definitely it's program brilliant thank you Isabel you're welcome <laughs>